Hello friends, I'm Jennifer Gomel. Today we're going to be reflecting on God's faithfulness. But before we do, let's prepare our hearts and minds by reading from God's Word. In these verses, the writer is viewing the Lord's faithfulness through the lens of difficult circumstances, fear, arrows, pestilence, and plagues. Through this, God's faithfulness is a shield and rampart. Friends, are you facing this new day with a feeling of despair or hopelessness? Are you facing a mountain that you do not have the strength to climb? A mountain of suffering, sin, lack of security, isolation, loss, or oppression? Do not lose heart, for our God is faithful. Our God never changes. He is unaffected by the whims of the world or our changing circumstances. He is consistent throughout generations. In all things and at all times, our God is merciful and just. Our God is good and holy. Our God is truth and love. In the Knowledge of the Holy, A.W. Tozer shares, The tempted, the anxious, the fearful, the discouraged may all find new hope and good cheer in the knowledge of our Heavenly Father and in His faithfulness. He will ever be true to His pledged word. This does not mean that our circumstances are not difficult, but it means that we do not face them alone and we can have hope in Him. Sometimes life is hard, but at all times, God is good. He sees you right now. He knows your circumstances. He knows the burdens on your heart. He is aware of the things that are weighing heavy on your mind. He promises not to leave you. He promises to be with you. He knows you like no other. In Psalm 139, 1 through 12, we read, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in behind and before. You lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about me will be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. So you can go with great confidence and hope. For whatever you face today, you face it with the one who knows you, who loves you, and who has made a way of salvation for you through Christ. Knowing this truth that God is faithful, what then shall we do? Take time today to reflect on His faithfulness in the midst of your circumstances. Pray to Him. Lay your anxious thoughts before Him. Rest in Him. Such beautiful words of promise are found in Lamentations 3, verses 22 to 24. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance, therefore I will hope in Him. These verses were penned into a hymn that you may be familiar with. Carry this song in your heart today. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassions they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. 
Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter, and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above, join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth, thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide, strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow, blessings all mine with 10,000 besides. Go forth, friends, in the knowledge that the Lord is faithful as he provides you with strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. God bless you.